Hi everyone, my name is Mbali Kupeka. And I'm Asonge Zwasitwevile. I come from a family of six, being one of four children. And I grew up in a township called Lower Crossroads. And just to give you guys a little more context around Lower Crossroads, it's a township with informal settlements, high levels of crime, high levels of unemployment, gangsterism. I'm sure Umbali can relate to all of this as she comes from a similar background. Definitely. So I come from Kailicha, which is the largest, if one, not one of the largest townships in Cape Town. And a lot of the issues that Asongeza has already mentioned um, on lower crossroads are also prevalent in Kailicha. There's also a huge drug problem amongst the youth, as well as issues around teenage pregnancy and even issues um, pertaining to the access to clean water and sanitation for some of these um, informal settlements um, in the township. And um, I come from a home of five. I'm the only girl and my two siblings are actually boys. And when I was awarded the scholarship, my mom was a cleaner and my father was unemployed. And through the scholarship, I was actually able to attend school at Camps Bay High School, which is one of the most prestigious schools in Cape Town. And I was allowed to be a child. Uh, for the first time in a long time, I was allowed to be a child. I didn't have to worry about um, having uniform or not having um, stationery, which mm -hmm. is actually one of the things that a child would be excited about when starting a new school, because I knew that uh, the scholarship would cover all of that. And I didn't have to worry about whether I'd be able to go to school or not because my tuition wasn't paid. So for the first time in a very long time in my life, I was actually allowed to be a child. And that's one of the things I'm most grateful for. What are you grateful for? I'm grateful for my experience at Kemsway High School. Yeah. Um, I mean, it started off a little shaky. Yeah. <laughs> it was a daunting experience for me. I mean, I had come from a township school mm. uh, where everything was taught in Isikosa. Mm. Now, in Kemsway High School, everything was taught in English. Um, and it was very difficult for me, but I had to learn fast. I had to adapt. You did well, though, because you were in the top 10. He was in the top 10. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Right, thank, you. Yeah. thank you. But how was your experience, though, with the Kemsway Foundation? Yeah, it was amazing. Like, it was amazing. I think the highlight for me was definitely my trip to Italy. So I was able to go to Italy and spend, I think, about two weeks with an mm. Italian family through a student exchange that was actually financed by the K. Mason Foundation. And I always reflect on that trip at different points in my life because I, I feel that I was able to dream big because of that trip. And it's one of the things that set me aside and that made me a lot more different to my peers um, from where I come from. Because I was exposed to a world that was way better than what I was used to. And I got to, 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 to be able to dream big and, and to know that there's so much more better out there, outside of what I knew. Mm -hmm. So that was definitely my highlight as a KMF mm -hmm. scholar. What was yours? Um, my highlight as a K, K Mason Foundation scholar um, was, I loved how involved they were. Mm -hmm. um, so it wasn't all about getting good marks at school mm. um, or just performing um, at school it was also about you mm. as a child and your family and your well-being as well mm. so um, I always remember um, something um, from 20 like an incident from 2012 um, so um, in Cape Town we actually had the worst winter in 2012 um, rainfall was really crazy mm. um, and I remember I actually got a phone call from Nolene who was the CEO then um, just to check up on me and my family and i actually told her that our roof was leaking mm. uh, and to my surprise two days later um the k Mason foundation had actually organized building contractors to come um fix our roof oh, wow. and that right there like, mm. it, it really ignited the spirit of ubuntu mm. um in me i mean i'm a software developer now I studied computer science and I did my honors in information systems mm. and I worked for big corporates, but I wasn't really fulfilled there, mm. which is why I actually gravitated um, towards that spirit of Ubuntu. Mm -hmm. um, and now I actually work for one of the biggest um, fintechs in South Africa um, and we help, uh, we help make um, small businesses thrive um, by making sure that they can accept digital payments. So that spirit of Ubuntu for me um, really lives um, it really lives in me and it really plays out in my day-to-day -day life oh. yeah 
So I, so post Camps Bay High School, yeah. I completed an investment management and finance mm -hmm. degree at Stellenbosch University and then I did a postgrad in finance and through that I was able to secure a job in investment banking at one of the top four um, banks in South Africa. And what we do is that we structure financing for African countries and we help them by financing um, developmental projects that assist in developing um, the actual infrastructure of the country as well as the economy. So I focus a lot of the impact on the impact that we do for the citizens of, of those countries that we help um, by making sure that whatever project that we, we, we finance actually helps in, in creating some sort of employment growth, etc. So for me, those are some of the most important points about being a banker, which goes back to mm. the spirit of Ubuntu. Yes, yeah. yes. And we would have really loved to be with you guys yes. tonight. That's crazy, but of course COVID happened. And the craziest thing was that um, before we actually found out that we were on the red list again, um, we just found out um, what we're actually going to be doing in London. All the sightseeing. Yeah, all the sightseeing. Yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah. but as you can see, we're still friends. Yeah. We started our journey in K-Mason Foundation. And a yeah. lot of people are still friends. Yeah. And together, we will maybe form a community where we're able to change the world and bring about change um, wherever we are and wherever we planted. And we just want to say thank you for everything that you've done for us. And we'd like for you to also join us and assist us as we create change wherever we go. And yes, thank you so much for your generosity. We cannot wait to meet you. Thank you. Thank you so much.